What's going on guys, Leon Bratz here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set up your Twitch about page. I'm going to teach you how to input your bio and social links as well as how to input your Twitch panels, your extensions and clickable links that go throughout your about page. Let's jump straight onto the PC, let's get it. Okay so we're on to Twitch now and as you can see this is my Twitch channel. If we scroll down we can see the about section down here. I am currently using 1440p monitors, however, most people will be using 1080p. So I'm just gonna increase the size of this just so it is the same. So you should have three sections on each one and just bear that in mind to try and keep this nice and clean, basically. So you have the 1440p monitors, it all looks a bit wonky. It doesn't look great, but with 1080p, this should all look nice and clean like this. So first of all, we are going to add in our bio and the social links just here. So what we're going to want to do is come over to the top right hand corner, click on create a dashboard and then we're going to click on settings and then channel just like that. And this is where we can input all of our channel details. So you've got your display name, Leon Bratt, that's absolutely fine. And your bio will go in here. I like to keep mine nice and short and concise. Singer songwriter, loop pedal artist, YouTuber, UK, sorted. That's nice and easy. You can put a little bit more info if you want in here. I probably should do really, but I haven't. So it's completely up to you how you want your bio to look. Now, if we move down, we can see the social links are here. Now, what I would do is with the most important social links that you've got, whether that be YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, website, whatever, always put the most important one at the top. Just input it in first as the top one, just because you can't actually move these around. There's no option to move these around. They go in the order that you put them in. So I've got my first one is YouTube, then Instagram, then Spotify, then my website, and then Twitter. I never really use Twitter, so that goes at the bottom, but it's still there on the profile. So what you're gonna do is put the social link YouTube, and then you are gonna input your URL there for YouTube, then click on save, then you go to the next one, Instagram, Spotify, website, Twitter. You might add in a TikTok, you might add in Facebook, you might add in wherever you wanna send people to, basically. And you only get five, so just bear that in mind. So once you have done all that and you've saved all of these, if we go back to the channel and click on the About section, you can see that all of your social links should be nice and visible just here. Okay, now moving down onto the actual about section, you've got all these different panels here. I'll show you where to get these from in a second. Um, but what I've got is YouTube, about me, Discord. I've got my sub badge showcase there. And then this is an extension, this one here, which I'm gonna show you how to do in a second. Then we've got a donate link there, contact details, hardware, schedule, rules, etc. Now, if you did wanna purchase these panels down here, which you see YouTube, about me, and Discord, that kind of thing, you can can purchase them from a place called owned.tv. I would go over there. I've got a 50% discount that you can use as well. Leon Bratt, if you wanted to use that at checkout, you're more than welcome to. And if we go over to owned, I'll just show you now. And if you type in the search at the top, I just put in panels, let's see what comes up. Then you can see that all of these packs here have panels inside them as well. You can scroll down and just find a couple that you like. You might choose this one, for example, whatever this one is. There we go, you can see those. If you like the look of that one, you can purchase that one, but any one is absolutely fine. But then what we're gonna do is come back over to Twitch and then we're gonna click on this section just here, which says edit panels. Now, if we scroll down the page a little bit, this is where we're gonna edit all the about section. And you can click on add image just here. And this is where you'd upload the panels that you've just bought or if you've had some made. If you are gonna make any of these panels yourself, make sure that they are 320 pixels wide by 75 pixels tall. That will give you the correct dimensions for making the panels yourself. So from moving left to right on the top, we first got the YouTube one here, which I've input the link, and the second one in is About Me. Now, if we scroll down on the About Me section, I've just put a, a little bit of like an extended kind of bio in the About Me section, and then I've added in where people can get my merch, and this is where I put all of my stream progress as well. I used to do every thousand followers, but past 10,000 followers, the list was getting way too long, so I then just kind of put it into 5Ks instead. That's just a lot cleaner. Make sure your about section's nice and clean. No one wants to read loads and loads of text. They haven't got time. So if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see here is where I've got my sub badges. You can see that I've added in an image here, and also I've linked that 
to where people can subscribe to. So if we go to my channel once again and click on the about section and scroll down, if we now click on this, this should take us to where people can subscribe. So just make sure that most of your panels are clickable with those links and everything should be good. So if we could just go back and then scrolling down the page a little bit more, I've got an extension here, which is my Streamlabs countdown for the schedule. And then I've got an emote showcase as well, contact page and a few other bits and bobs just there. Now, if you wanted to add an extension, so for instance, you might want to add a leaderboard, a Streamlabs leaderboard. This is, if I just go back to the other one, I'll show you. This is this one here. So you can see the bits and gifted subs that people have done. You can see here that this is a leaderboard. This is an extension so if we just go back over to this one here actually do you know what if i remove this uh hopefully i'm not going to mess that all up but if we go down to the bottom and click on the plus icon you can now put in an extension panel you only get three for your stream so there are loads of different extensions just make sure you're choosing the right ones just just have what you want basically but make it nice and clean i like to have the leaderboard so if we click on that and then click on extension manager that will take us through to this page just here and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a Streamlabs leaderboard. This is the one that I've just had that I've just got rid of. I've also got an emote showcase and Streamlabs stream schedule and countdown as well. So I'm going to go over to Streamlabs leaderboard and click on activate. I'm going to set that as panel two because I've got this one as panel one and panel three. Set that as panel two and then click done. So now if we go back to the channel, click on this one here. I'm going to refresh this. Now, if we scroll down again, we can see that now all of a sudden that this panel is over this side on the left hand side. It was over here somewhere, but because we've just added it in as a new thing, that's where it's popped up. So if you would like to know how to chop and change all of these panels into the right order, you just need to click on edit panels once again. I scrolled up a bit. Edit panels and then you can drag and drop these just like that. And then if we click on edit panels once again, you can see that this is now moved over here. So what I'd like to do is have discord up in this top right hand corner and i'd need to have this extension just further down the page a little bit so i'm going to click on edit panels again i'm going to move i was going to say move discord but if i move this one down here let's see what happens now now we click on edit panels again there we go now you can see that youtube about me and discord is all in the right place and if we scroll down again you can see that all of these are in the right place so next what we want to do is make links that are clickable like this for example if we want to click here to donate click on there and that should take us through to the donation page nice and easy that's what we're gonna set up next so if we go and click on edit panels once again the trick to this one is let's just find one let's go let's go here for example click here to donate is the one we've just clicked on so how to make a clickable link basically what we're gonna do is put in the closed brackets like the square brackets and then type in your text so say Click to donate, that'll do, whatever. So you wanna make it nice and easy to read. Click here to donate, maybe something like that. You can do whatever you wanna do. And then put the close brackets again, and then you're gonna do open brackets, the normal bracket with no space in between here, no space there. And then that's when you're gonna input your link. So take your donation link and put that there, just like that. And then close the brackets with normal brackets and then click submit. Make sure you hit submit on every single change that you've made just so you don't go off the page and lose your work. Okay, so if we click on edit panels again, then if we scroll down to the donate section, you'll see here we've got two clickable links which take me straight to the donation page just like that. And you can do this for any text that you want to be a link. Just do the exact same method and it should work. So that is pretty much it. There we go, guys. That is how to set up your about page on Twitch. If you did enjoy this video and you did find value within this video, then please do smash that like button as hard as you can and subscribe down below for more videos like this every single week and i shall see you next week for the next video enjoy the content creation and i'll see you then peace